What's up everyone and welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Ash Gray. Once again, it has been a little bit uh, since the last time we adventured here in the anime region of Kanto. Um, my body's been very weird lately. That, that sounds very strange, just saying it straight up like that. My body's been weird. Um, basically, I don't know man, I've been sick for like the last month and it just kind of comes back and forth. Is this a bottle in a, a, a bottle? It's a letter in a bottle. The letter reads, If you know anything about a Pokemon called the Crystal Onyx, let me know right away. Marissa from Sunburst. Alright, so it looks like we're doing the Crystal Onyx today, but um... Yeah, I, I don't know man, it, like, it seemed to go away, and then like the past two days it came back, so I apologize, it's been very strange. Um, as you guys know, I'm also back in Miami, so I've been doing a lot of stuff with my grandparents and my cousin, my baby cousins that live here, actually, there's two of them now. One of them just turned one, so her birthday was actually, I think, like, last Saturday. And when I say I think is because, like, when it's summertime, it's not even summertime, when you don't go to school and don't work, the days just kind of all blend together and... I really don't know when the weekend is, when the weekday is anymore. It all depends on, like, my family members doing stuff is how they remind me what day it is. So, I don't know, man. I think it was last Saturday, which was, like, two days ago, I think. So, yeah, that happened. And so, I don't know, man. I've been just, like, spending time with them, and it hasn't really left me that much time open to record. But tomorrow, I'm actually going to Puerto Rico, and I should have some time, at least the first few days, as my mom is... I'm going to be staying with my mom, but she's going to be at work for a couple of days when I get there. So... Should have some time to record, hopefully. Um, so yeah, there will at least be videos. I won't be leaving you guys hanging. And I should be doing an update on that pretty soon. I've been trying to get a new camera. Since my other one doesn't work anymore. Or actually, I don't know where it is. Anyway, uh, here's a man. I don't see why you don't close up the shop. You got no merchandise. Tell your big brother he should give up already. He ain't got no talent. Yes, he does. He's very good. What is it to you? You know her? Listen, all I know is being next to them is killing my business. Hmm. Well, sir. That, that kind of sucks. Well, what is, who is your brother? Big brother Mateo runs this shop, but right now he feels real bad and doesn't want to make glass anymore. My name is Marissa. She mean glass? Like, you know, I've, I've watched some Breaking Bad and I know glass has different meanings depending on where you're from. So, what kind of glass are you talking about here? Are we dealing, dealing the blue sky? Is that what we're going up against here? You found my letter. I knew someone would answer it. You have to tell me about the Crystal Onyx. Please tell me. I see. You don't know anything about it. I thought for sure you found it. My brother really wants to capture the Crystal Onyx. Please, maybe you could help him. Alright, so uh, we're going to go to her shop and I guess help out Big Brother Mateo. There he is. When my grandfather ran this store, it was a big success. Grandpa was so talented and he made beautiful glass Pokemon every day. When he passed away, I tried my best to follow in his footsteps, but I just can't make anything good enough to sell in the store. If I could just find some kind of inspiration, I know I could create sculptures like my grandfather if I just could capture the Crystal Onyx. Seeing the Crystal Onyx is what has inspired me to begin glass making. Oh, it is blue. It's it's nice and crystallized. It's probably like 99% purity if, if, you know... If I know anything about the subject, which I don't know anything, but, uh, sure, I'll help you find the Crystal Onyx. If that's what it takes for you to make that sweet glass, then, yeah, totally, man. Call me Jesse Pinkman right now. See, it all, it all makes sense. That's why we're in the evening right now and everything has, like, a pink hue. It all makes sense, man. So, I guess this guy gives us Shadow Ball? Is he? Oh, um, no, a gold nugget. What? Okay, so if he, he wants a gold nugget for a TM for something and something else for... Okay, I think for the amulet coin I require a pearl or a sea incense. Um, I don't have any of those items apparently. What do you want for shadow ball by the way? Let me see. Um, on the move black that would be invaluable. What sort of trade would you be willing to make? A gold nugget and the TM for the move toxic for shadow ball. A TM and a gold nugget for shadow ball. Like man, what is up with these people on this island? All bartering away, being all crazy like, yo, that is not, no, that's not the way I work, you know? I'll get you some sweet glass, but I can't, can't get you anything else. Um, oh, whoa, what the heck? Uh, well, that was cool. I guess the tide is too strong to swim in or use Lapras in our case, but, uh, a nice little pathway appears. Kind of reminds me of, like, Shaman in Platinum, where, like, you just kind of stand there and it's like, whoa, look, this entire island was hidden from your sight the entire time, and, and now here it is. Um, what other Pokemon does Ash catch in the Orange Islands? Because right now we only have our four. We definitely got rid of Pidgeotto, which is very unfortunate. He evolved into a, a majestic Pidgeot and then flew away. Um, so at least right now we've got Tangaloo, we've got Tabasco. I guess the next thing he gets is like Snorlax. Um, we never got Muck. 
Yeah, I never got Muck for some reason. Or did I get Muck and maybe I just haven't used him? I don't really remember. I don't think I ever got Muck. But I guess the next Pokemon Ash would get is Snorlax. Uh, so maybe we'll get one of those soon. But for now, we're just sticking with our our big old men. Roshi and Kaizar and Tabasco and the big boys. Uh, so yeah, this is the Crystal Onyx Island, I'm guessing. And we're gonna go find him. But I want to see what's over here. Whoa, hello. There's a Pidgeotto. Speaking of the man behind the curtains... What does that mean? The man behind the curtain. Hit movie coming to theaters near you this Christmas time. The man behind the curtain. Is he a curtain? Is he a man? No, he's a man behind a curtain. You never saw that coming. It's actually a superhero. Curtain man. Alright, so here we are. We're at the, the Crystal Onyx Cave. I guess we can use our rock climbing gear to get up here. Is this like... Yeah, this is slip and slide and... Uh, slip and slide area, so how do we get this puzzle? Not very tough. All right, so we're probably gonna have a little bit of an ice puzzle here. I've never been a big fan of ice puzzles in Pokemon, mainly because when I was a wee little boy and I borrowed Pokemon Crystal from my cousin, who was much older than me, he's, he's like maybe four years older than me, so let's say I was like four, he was like eight, you know, he could figure out the ice puzzles, but I was just kind of clueless, and he lent me Pokemon Crystal, and I could never figure out the ice caverns, so... I wasn't really four. I didn't play Pokemon when I was that young. I think I started playing Pokemon. Actually, I may have been that young. Huh. I don't know. What year would a... Or how old would a person be in, like, fourth grade? Like, let's calculate that real quick. Maybe about eight or nine? I don't... I think? I don't know if I'm right on that, but... Yeah, maybe I was around eight or nine, and he was probably, like, 12 or 13. So, he definitely knew his way around the, uh, the ice cavern. I couldn't do anything, so... It's pretty helpless back then, and then Pokemon Ruby came out sometime around then, too, and I started playing that, and I did a lot better. I don't really remember, actually. You know what? Let's forget about my times uh, having pains in the ice cavern. I just remember I have a slight memory of, like, having troubles in the ice cavern. I don't know. Do you guys have that? Like, do you have any vivid memories of when you were a lot younger? Because, I mean, I'm only 19 now, but I have such, like, I have really random vivid memories of when I was, like, super young. It's like... I don't remember a lot of things, but I remember the things that I do remember are, like, really vivid details. Like, I remember when I lived, um, I don't know, the original house I lived in when I was small, I had this giant big yellow bucket just full of toys. And that's, like, one really vivid memory I have is of, like, all the toys that were in there. Well, not all of them, but I do remember, like, a Transformers of, like, Greymon. And, uh, I don't know, there's just, like, really vivid things that I remember, like, with such detail. Like, that yellow bucket. I guess it's just things. I'm a weirdo. You know what? I'm probably not the only one like that. Pretty sure that's something that everyone has. But, uh, here's the Crystal Onyx. It's starting to attack. Um, but I mean, like, before I was, like, maybe... I don't know. Oh, God. It made the sound of Mew. <laughs> okay, well, here's Mew, the Crystal Onyx. I'm assuming we gotta catch this for our buddy... Um, so we do not want to kill it. I'm gonna go for a razor. Oh, it's level 75. Jesus. What? I was about to say, like, okay, well, um, we're gonna hurt this thing real bad. But nope, it's level 75, so I guess we're not really hurting it. I'm gonna need to leech see this thing, actually, because it is going to kill us, man. We, okay, it doesn't affect it. Um, what type is the Crystal Onyx to not be affected by leech seed? I mean, I would assume it's, like, ice type, but, uh... I don't, I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. Um, can we maybe poison it? Let's try poisoning it. I'm gonna heal up Kaizar. We're gonna try to go for the, uh, toxic. <clears throat> and see if that affects it or not. Um, nope. Doesn't affect the wild Onyx. Okay, so what freaking type are you, Onyx? I don't, you're not affected by Leech Seed. You're not affected by my other thing. And you're really, you're gonna put up a Reflect. Okay, well, I'm just gonna keep Giga Draining until, you know, we whittled you down, uh, Low, low enough, I guess. I, I don't know. We probably can't survive another slam. He misses, though. That's okay with me. Um, can you miss one more time, maybe? No? Okay, well, I'm just gonna toss some Ultra Balls at you. I really... Okay, I was really hoping that I had some Ultra Balls, but, uh... Here we go! It dodged the... Okay. Okay. Um, so... Wh what do we do with this thing? Do we just take it out? I, I guess? I don't know. I thought we were supposed to actually take it to the guy, but... That's not very effective, I guess. So what type are you? It, it is very strange. We can't catch you, so I guess we'll never know. Goodbye, Crystal Onyx, forever. Hey, Mateo. How'd you climb up that, man? Amazing. I finally seen the Crystal Onyx for myself. 
It's incredible! I don't need to capture it now. I have all the inspiration I need after seeing it in person! Thank you, Onyx. Thank you for that inspiration. Well, I'm glad we could help you out, buddy. You know, I really wanted to catch the Crystal Onyx. Um, if anybody knows what type it is, because I, I can't piece it together. I mean, it would have to be like a grass. Why would it be a grass? Like, I'm trying to piece it together. It's a Crystal Onyx. I mean, what's not affected by poison? Other poison types and like steel types, right? So, so it has to be like grass and steel or something? What? I don't know, man. It's very strange. Um, Crystal Onyx there. Uh, but either way, that was the Crystal Onyx. How do we get out of this cave? I guess we can just, uh, drop down from the ledge? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just a special Pokemon that's not affected by status moves or something. I really have no idea. If anybody knows for sure, let me know in the comments. I would very much appreciate that because, um, you know, I try to learn everything about Pokemon every time I do Wi-Fi Battles uh, live stream. I learn something new, you know? Like, I didn't know that, uh, what is it? There was one type effectiveness that I have no idea of. It, it was something about rock types. Like, rock type resists something that I didn't know about, like, for the longest, longest time. I think. Yeah, I don't know. I learned about it the other day, though. Or, or it was something. I don't remember. Uh, so I guess for that, we get a reward, maybe? Do we do we get anything? Seeing the Crystal Onyx has inspired me. Nobody can stop me now. And, uh, the sister doesn't do anything either. Thank you for everything. Alright, well, at least we got the thank you. That's all I wanted. That rare candy sure looks awfully tasty. Alright, all that he wants is a rare scarf and a Lepa Berry, and we don't have those. How- like, they ask for such oddly specific items. Is it just me that thinks that? Like, I, I don't know, man. Who- who randomly has a red scarf and a Lepa Berry? You know, like, I guess they might all be things that we should have gotten in the past, but for some reason I don't have, but... I mean, you can never know for sure. I'll figure out a cure? Is that how the song goes? No way to know for sure. Okay, we're not gonna sing that. So she is a bad girl. She has changed and and it's not really for the better. Bad, bad, bad. Alright, um, time to sink and swim. We're gonna ignore that I was singing anything at all and instead head on over to the next island. We've already taken on the uh, Crystal Onyx, so what is up next? I think um, we're pretty close to getting to the next gym, actually. As now my... My system is clogging up again. It's really annoying, man. I was actually feeling really good throughout the entire day, and now it seems I'm getting nasally again, which sucks. At least I'm not coughing. Well, I did a little cough earlier, but at least it's nothing too bad. Um, because I don't know. I felt like maybe it was actually starting to fix up, because I really want to not be sick when I go to Puerto Rico, so I can enjoy myself and go out to the beach, even though it's Christmas. You know, Puerto Rico is pretty much on the equator, so you can go to the beach at any time. It's probably like, what, 80 degrees over there right now? It's, it's crazy, man. Actually, it's pretty warm here in Miami, too. Well, I don't know, man. It's been like, at nighttime it gets kind of cold, but during the day, man, like, la yesterday it was maybe 75 or something. Like, that's not bad. You can still go to the beach in that, you know? Meanwhile, up in wherever, it's like snowing and stuff. I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of jealous, actually. I like the cold. I mean, I don't mind the hot, warm weather, but... I do want to see some snow again. Maybe I'll go take a trip up to some snowy places. I don't think so, but I am pretty jelly of those of you that got the snow right now. If you have some snow, you know, send me some in the mail. P.O. Box. Um, <clears throat> I don't I don't have a P.O. Box, actually, so... No, maybe I should open one so people can actually send me snow. I don't know. Uh, but here we are. We're in Pinkan Island, which, as far as I know, is the island of pink Pokemon. And that is what we'll be taking on next episode. So, uh, there's some whirlpools. You can't really... What, what? Okay. Well, we can't step in those. Obviously, they are whirlpools. You don't want to step in the whirlpools. You know, you'll end up like Tom Hanks and Castaway. Was that Tom Hanks? Pretty sure it was Tom Hanks. It was someone else uh, that I don't remember. Wilson. We'll say Wilson. We'll end up like Wilson and Castaway. We'll literally be a volleyball with a face and some twigs glued onto the top. Yeah, it's not really what you want to be. But, you know... Yeah, you can end up that way sometimes, so, uh, I guess that is gonna be it for today, so let's head up here, see what there is, is it, are there any, oh, there's a, there's a pink Rhyhorn, so, it's now nighttime in the game, good a time as any to call it quits, Ash, you, you have a relaxing day leaning up against that palm tree, I mean a relaxing night, you know what, whatever. Thank you guys for watching, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time.